We believe he just run off from some farm. He ran for miles while he was attacked by dogs. He eventually collapsed on a very busy highway. He was pretty messed up when I met him the first time. It was heartbreaking because this large 500 pound pig wasn't a small dog canner. Just sitting with him, that just calmed down a lot. He pretty much put his head on my leg and found some comfort, somebody with him. I knew that I have to take him with me. We want to help farm animals just because there are so many dog and cat rescues, but very few who are set up and able to help farm animals. He went through so much pain in the past, and when we let him out of the stall and he saw the first time grass, he was like a little puppy because he had never seen grass. Very, very special just because we spent so much time in the beginning when he was so sick and I was sleeping there in a the barn from time to time just to watch him. We have a special bond. If you have something like Toby where he was so sick for so long, you just create a special bond. He's just permanently glued to my butt. He's just running up behind me, giving me hints where we are going and what we are checking out next. <laughs> Two weeks later, that was where he actually started really moving around, where some of his wounds were healed and he started communicating a little bit. He's a talker. He has complaining runs, happy runs. <laughs> Right now, he's content. See that mentally she's back and he's not fearful anymore. He's enjoying that she is in a safe place. When I sit out there and he is in front of me in the grass or goes into the pond, just going swimming and doing what he's supposed to do, that's the most rewarding part, actually. Just because of this behavior, I just not to death. He's a child on a man. <laughs> Water body.